hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl yechi here and today's video we're going to be doing the nigerian tag so i love this type of video just answering questions but this particular one is going to be like related to nigeria like answering questions about nigeria and all so i found this on the internet i found this on the website i'm going to leave a link to the website i found it on the questions are there there are quite a number of questions but i'm not going to answer all of them but you know i'll pick i would answer i'll pick i would answer and also it's just like a fun thing and you guys can also you know answer the questions in the description box and all um it's a way for you know to let your audience get to know you a little bit more and also something fun to watch okay so let's shift back from the serious videos a little bit in this particular video if you're not subscribed if you're not subscribed if you're not subscribed please do subscribe now um like this video give it a thumbs up and um let's begin so the first question is were you born in nigeria yes i was born in nigeria second question is do you live in nigeria or have you ever lived in nigeria yes i've lived in nigeria all my life like all my life which part of nigeria are you from i'm from imo state nigeria njaba local government to be precise have you ever been to nigeria have I ever left Nigeria? That should be the question. <laughs> What's your traditional name? Um, that would be my normal name, Oninyechin or Uchena, anyone. What's the meaning of your traditional name? My name means gift of God from both, like both names have like similar meaning. So it means gift of God, God's gift. And no, my English name is not gift. Don't go there. Don't try it. What's your favorite Nigerian song? Um, I currently don't have one. Like I listen to a lot of Nigerian music. Um, but let me just say songs from Wizkid is like one of my favorite Nigerian artists. Yeah, so songs from Wizkid, David Doe, I'm a fan of both of them. What's your favorite Nigerian movie? Um, favorite Nigerian movie, um, you guys shouldn't judge me. Girls Court. I don't know if you guys can remember that movie. Girls Court. Excuse me. Hello? Excuse me. Hi, girls. Um, sorry, I didn't know that you um i hear you guys are going for a party i don't know if i can join you people <laughs> what was that you just said wait what did you say um i'd like to join you girls for the party are you blind are you sick or something huh you want to join us to a party i can see you don't know your class anymore before you get out of this place you stink with poverty um, I really liked Lara and the beat as well. I enjoyed, um, I'm trying to remember the name of the movie. I can't remember, but one of those movies that came out in the cinema. I enjoyed King of Boys as well. I think those would be like my favorites. But that throwback movie called Girls Cuts, nothing beats that for me. Like any any movie that, you know, had in year though, those days was like, I have to watch this for me. Man, I was a fan. <laughs> What's your favorite Nigerian food? Um, I would say Jello Fries. And, um, yellow eba yellow gari rather and egusi soup with enough oil that's like the perfect combination um who's your favorite nigerian personality definitely has to be karen chukura or uk rob any one of them those are like rich auntie boss ladies and patience which is also cool i love her man that wickedness is is the level we need to get to like that's where we need to aspire to get to that level of wickedness yeah what Nigerian language do you speak? None. That, you know, I can speak fluently. But yeah, I do understand like a good amount of things in Igbo and also Yoruba. Just those two. You can literally sell me in Hausa. What's the best kept secret about Nigeria? I don't think we have a secret. Everybody literally knows what's going on here. Though, um, that's, you know, we need help. If you are watching this from outside the country, we need help. Personally, I need help. Come on, I can't remember from here. But I don't think there's really any kept secret about it. Everything is in the open. The corruption, um, the violence, the way we're being treated. I think everything is in the open. What is the biggest misconception about Nigerians? I think the biggest one would be um, that, you know, we are lazy. Because, um, I mean, I come across hardworking Nigerians every day, a lot of them. Um, I think because we don't get the results that, you know, people get outside the country when we're doing similar things. It's seen as, oh, we're lazy, but, you know, the opportunities here are reduced. You know, the support you get here is reduced. So I think a lot of people just think that, you know, 
Nigerians are not putting in the work. But trust me, we are putting in the work. Even looking at Nigerian content creators alone, like you can see that these are people that are going the extra mile. Like you would give a Nigerian creator a product and pay them not even up to two third of what you know. What am I saying to third? Not up to one quarter of what you pay a US influencer and they'll go over the board. They will shoot video of the product falling down, picking it up. They will do backflip while shooting the product. Like they put in the work, okay? And you know, sometimes the result, of course, in terms of pay is not the same. So it's, it looks like we're lazy, but to me, I don't think Nigerians are lazy. What do you love about Nigeria? Definitely our music. I feel the Nigerian entertainment industry is the only thing that is keeping us together strongly um in this country um they are really the people selling the country because if we rely on just our news we're not doing well at all in terms of tourism we're poor but i feel like our entertainment industry like movies music is doing really well so those would be like my favorite things about nigeria what's the nigerian dream for all of us to live yeah i think so for all of us to actually leave okay so it said mention five states in nigeria okay abia oyo lagos ondo imo i think that's five yeah <laughs> you're going to a military themed party close to the army barracks in nigeria are you wearing a camouflage shirt do i want to die like do i want to be flogged until i can't feel my body anymore of course not i'm probably going to wear blue or orange anything away from the green angle i'm not even going to go there i'm not going to, going to wear nothing as like camo even if it's the belt that i want to wear that is camo i'm not even going to try not talk of a whole shirt shirts if my lock screen is camo i'll even change it before i go there thanks this one says the iv says all guests should be seated by 10 a.m what time are you arriving okay so there are two ways i'll look at this if it's ibadan i'm probably going to go there by 11. If it's Lagos, I'm going there by 3 o'clock. <laughs> because you put in this Lagos can go late to events. Ah, <laughs> kilo day. What's it? I went for an event in Lagos that was by 12. And like before the event, they were saying that, oh, by 12, we're starting. You know, please try to come before 12. So by 12, all of us will start. By 2.30, guys, by 2.30, the organizer of the event was just coming. She's like, hi, hi, guys. I'm like, hmm what's what's funny to this one like no apology for lateness and i think that's what pisses me off the most that you know events start late people that are planning the event come late and there's no apology whatsoever that oh sorry sorry to keep you waiting and all just like hi like they walked in with you at the same time and they've not been waiting for you like man that day i waited for such a long time and the only reason why i was still there was because i had somewhere i was going to from that place so man i once she just came here and she was like hi i'm like this is wrong and you you really shouldn't do this at all if you say 12 try to be there by 12 at least you that you are the organizer of the event it's won't hurt for you to just come early and there's this excessive blame on traffic even on days that you know you don't really have you know traffic on the road people just fall back on excuse of traffic but when it was time for you to get up, you'd not get up. So don't blame it on traffic, okay? It's only in Lagos that brunch, brunch will start by 5 p.m. I've seen it before. Only in Lagos that brunch will start by 5 p.m. Clodé, that is dinner, okay? Before they now bring your food, it's like 7. By the time you now eat, it's now 8. Brunch, you're eating it by 8. You, are finished. you want to finish eating the brunch by 8. Uh -uh. it's not right is it is not right it's not done right the only thing that people even go early for in lagos is their own wedding that's the only thing people go early for in this lagos their own wedding like i'm the bride you are the groom that's the only thing people go early for in this lagos because they know that if they don't go early they might lose their space other than that nothing they don't really and early for nothing nothing what do you say when you're doing a sound check one two one two testing one two one two i like that thing so much only when they put their mouth you know close to the mic and they're like one two one two with the deep voice and oh i can't get it definitely because i don't have a deep voice but like it's just nice then you know that okay the party is about to start especially when you're growing up when you hear that want to want to like ah they're about to play awilo and you're about to you know give them a <laughs> So this one says, what do you eat when you're broke and hungry? Indomie. Indomie way. 
just like two, you know, indomie, the small one. Cook it, eat it, and I'll be all right. Just that and I'm fine. How many cubes of sugar do you put in your gari? Hey, depends though. Depends on how the day is. There's cold water and then there's milk. Ah, we're doing like four, five upward. But if it's a normal, I'm taking small quantity, just normal. Uh, we can do like three, but on a very good day, four, five from there upward. If it's not sweet enough, you come back, you add small water, then you put the cube of sugar inside. What do you call tissue paper? Um, it's not toilet roll. Abi, am I correct? I don't know. Do we have a local name for it? It's toilet roll now, yeah. Toilet roll. What's the general term for drinks like Coke, Fanta, Pepsi, Mirinda? Mineral. Normal thing, mineral. You have this stores, what's your mama sending you to buy? Uh, malt. Because I mean, I'm evil. Most of the time, the stores that we have are like evil people. So it's very normal for them to send you to buy malt. I'm still maltina, better malt, high malt, any malt. You shall go out and buy the malt. Results are out. You were second in your class. What's your mom's comment? Does the first person have two heads? Who is the first person? Why are you know her friend? Do you talk to her? Next semester, be next term, read with her. That's the comments. How do you open a bottle of soda? May I use open now? Or I use the edge of a table? You know, hook it then, hit it. When people use their teeth, but I know that the day that I try to use my teeth, it's not a bottle that we open, it's my teeth itself that we actually remove. It's not that the cap of the bottle that will come off, it's actually my teeth because these things are very, very fragile. So what's the Nigerian term for a commercial motorcycle or kada? What's Nigeria's official party food? Moi moi and jello fries, I think. Yeah, jello fries and moi moi, yes. Or jello fries and chicken or jello fries and fat jello fries is there. Anything with jello fries is the official party. If you are doing party in Nigeria and you don't have jello fries, that is deceiving. But though these days people are trying to, you know, be more, you know, foreign. They are now doing cream pasta chinese fried rice but please give me my jello fries let's not let's not fight okay and eat your cream pasta just give me my jello fries what do you dislike about nigeria um so many things um i dislike the bridge between the wealthy and then the poor there's like a huge gap in it um i dislike the emphasis on school so much i feel like in this country prioritize like higher education so much and at the end of the day you come out and nothing is still like assured for you uh, maybe if there was an assurance it would it would make sense to ginger people to go to school but you know it's just like parents spend a lot send their children to school and then at the end of the day there's like no assurance and a lot of time people make it look like oh if you don't go to university you're a nobody and oh um i really don't like that mentality we have um, the whole judging side too of Nigeria, they judge you if you are too skinny, they judge you if you are fat, they judge you if you don't have husband, they judge you if you don't have a child, they they judge you if you don't have like I don't know like they judge people for a lot of things that sometimes are beyond their control. So it's just this whole societal you know pressure that you know we put on each other because I mean it's a thing that we all do. So we put on each other and you know it makes people do things that you know they didn't think that they would ever do just because they want to meet society's you know standards and all of course i hate the leaders and um, that's like that one is normal i don't think i have to mention it i think most of us are on the same page on that yes so um really i um, hate that i hate the currency <laughs> and the value <laughs> because you know it's dropping um yeah so i think those would be like the things that i hate about nigeria the weather oh my god the weather can i forget that it's really hot it's hot even the hamatan that you know you are supposed to have cold nights are we we don't usually see it that much anymore so i remember um primary school you can stay in a classroom and you just have fans but these days a classroom with students and there's no ac there do you want to kill them so I feel like every day is getting hotter. It's getting hotter, okay? So I think those would be like the things I currently, you know, don't like about Nigeria and all. So I think I've answered most of the questions here. So that would be the end of this video. Um, feel free to pick any of the questions and answer as well. Let me know if you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.